Howdy. This is Lemmy with RevZilla TV, here to talk to you today about Clockworks Ergo Bars for Harley Touring. You should be looking into a set of Clockworks Ergo Bars if you want to change your hand position a little bit on your touring bike. Not a lot, just a little bit. These things are currently being made for just about every single Batwing touring bike out there. 86 and newer, if you've got a Batwing fairing in your bike, these things are going to work for you. Throw your bike into our bike finder, we're going to show you the set of Ergo Bars that's made specifically for your motorcycle. Installation on these things is about a two-bearder on our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. You're going to need some tools and you're going to need some time, but it's not as bad as it could be thanks to some of the thought that Clockworks has put into these bars. Let's get right to it. The Ergo Bar was developed specifically to make people a little bit more comfortable on a Harley Tourer. I know I've swapped out lots of bars on Harley Touring bikes, and those of you who are familiar with the process or maybe researching it a little bit realize it's a pretty big hassle. There's a lot of work to do in order to get different handlebars onto your bike. The unfortunate part is most of the time that's to have some sort of crazy newfangled style bar on there, some big old ape hanger or something that's really non-traditional. Usually though, I like the factory bars, they just don't feel quite right, I need to position them a little bit differently. So sometimes I'll wind up adjusting the bars way far forward or maybe a little bit farther back towards me. I usually wind up pushing mine forward because they tend to, they tend to give me a little bit more room on the bike, but I know I have some smaller friends who will, who will sort of tilt the bars back towards themselves a little bit in order to decrease the reach they need to put out there in order to reach the handlebars. The problem with this, of course, is once you do this, once you tilt the bars a little bit beyond wherever the Harley preset measurement is, you wind up with a very strange wrist angle. A lot of times the sweep on the bars, actually how far those handlebars angle back, will feel real funny. It can feel very strange and it puts this weird pressure and strain on your joints. It doesn't feel that fantastic. Enter the Ergo Bar. So they have three different bars. Most of them offer a little bit of reduced sweep. So you're not, you, you don't have those, those handlebars kind of kicked back quite so far. Instead, your, uh, your wrists tend to be a little bit more square to the motorcycle. I think they feel really great. Most of the aftermarket bars I go to tend to have very little sweep to them, almost like a set of drag bars. They're very comfortable. So the Ergo comes actually in three flavors. There is the standard Ergo bar, which again, just decreases that sweep a little bit, but they also offer the up bars and the back bars. The up bars, again, for you taller folks, allow you to push forward a little bit without that crazy weird wrist angle. It gives you just a little bit more room in the bike. For those of you who are taller riders, maybe coupling that up with a different seat and possibly uh, some different floorboards can get you the room you need to be comfortable on your touring bike. Similarly, those back bars are going to allow those of you who are a little bit shorter to reduce the reach you have on your motorcycle. So couple a set of Ergo back bars up with maybe a seat that moves you a little bit farther up the tank, and you shorter riders should find your touring bike to be a bit more comfortable. One of the other things that's cool too is for those of you guys who, who are into it and do want to do a little bit of extra work, these things are also slotted and drilled. They can be internally wired, and they'll also work with your stock clamshells. To, depending on how you want to set these up, you've got a lot of different options just due to the way that Clockworks actually machines these. Which brings me to the installation section of things. As I had mentioned, this is a two-bearder on our BSD, our beard scale of difficulty. You're going to be doing a little bit of wrenching. You've got to have some decent tools, and you have to throw some time at this project, but it's not nearly as bad as a normal bar swap on a Harley Touring bike. Again, if you've done any research into this or you've ever done a set before, you realize this is an eight hour plus job. It's not cheap to do, nor is it, is it quick. Uh, Clockworks, by offering a bar that works completely with stock length controls, cables, and wiring, eliminates a lot of the effort you need to put into the job. It really does become just a straight mechanical swap where you're just going to remove things from your old bars, swap in the new bars underneath all your old stuff, bolt everything up, and you're heading down the road. I really do like that. I think Clockworks has come up with a great idea here. Here, the idea of a bar that bolts right in without any extra work but still gets rid of that nasty hand pain that everybody seems to suffer is fantastic. Plus, these bars keep your hands inside of the Batwing, uh, so you get that full protection that, uh, that the touring bike actually offers. My opinion is not the only game in town, though. Click the info button if you want to learn a little bit more about the Ergo bars. If you've got a question that I didn't get to with respect to fitment or installation, give our gear geeks a call. 877-792-9455 will get you a Gear Geek live on the horn, or you can always drop us an email, cs at revzilla.com. I'm Lemmy, I'm out of here.